Seems pretty legit. Oh, what? That was episode one? Hello? <laughs> no. That wasn't episode one. Wow, episode one is like legitimately short as I don't know what. what? I couldn't, that must have been like a, a, uh, what do they call it? Not a prequel, but a, a f I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. It's been like an intro or something like that, cause it couldn't be episode one. I'll be upset. There's supposed to be like an hour or something like that, right? Like two hours long. What? What? Okay, this is episode one now. Okay. I was about to say. Welcome to episode one. Because what we had before wasn't episode one. We walking. We walking. We on the street. We got a matchbook in our hand. Could have gave it to old girl, give her a light, but I didn't. I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. Glass slipper shoes. All right. So yeah, I'm not really like too fond or like not fond, but too up on like fables and stuff. I know it's like a combination of a bunch of like stories from back in the day, but yeah. Look at the plaque. I feel like I'm going here. This is supposed to be my house. Uh, I'm going in, going home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. Gotta examine everything. You guys know that. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Anything else that I can examine besides going to the house and looking at that sign? Word. Come on out. I should have been like stayed off the grass. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, huh. I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. Yeah, I want to be the nice guy. I want to be the nice wolf to see what happens. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. All right. What up? Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. So we got Beauty and the Beast. We got the the wolf. We got the the toad. I don't really know what the toads are from. I must have a bad childhood or something. Um, yeah, we got the woodsman. That's pretty legit. I feel like terrible because I don't like really. I'm not up on my fables. Like, dang, it's been so long since I like read fables. Hmm. Knocked out. Can I touch it. Still asleep. Are you asleep? Hey, you wink. His name's Grumble. Mm, of course not. Probably for the best. All right, go into our mailbox. Wait. Wait. Private, private, private. I didn't even see where room I stay at, but whatever. I am at since I got any mail. Two or four. Seventh day in a 
around. I'm not famous. No one likes me. <laughs> Tears. Anything else in here? Of course not. Let's go to the elevator. Hit the button. Wait for the elevator. Yeah. What was this? Do My name today. I'm off again. Um, you're not gonna pick it up. You're just gonna. Okay. Seems legit. That bro. Bigby. Hey, wait up. That Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, I'm a lot of beef. Damn it. Something's going on. Now you're, you're good. I lied to be. I told her I was gonna keep my word, and and, and you know, stick up for her. I don't know. Give her my trust or whatever. Been two old foe. Keep the phone off the hook. I don't want no phone calls. Damn. Or it looked like it was cracked, but like, okay. Yeah, at least half open. Some murky looking oily water. Wash my face. I'm clean. <sighs> what a night. Pretty crazy night, dog. Got in a fight. Shit happened, you know. Let's open the freezer. Let's see what we got up in there. Freaking nothing. No ice cube in it. <laughs> Don't lick the ice dog. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Huff and puff. Cigar huff and puff cigarettes. Got his own like cigarette line or something? Bluebeard's file. All right. Ain't no Chinese food. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Pretty much a bad sign if you don't remember ordering shit. Should help. Dog, you over here knocked out and shit. Hey, yo, wake up. Whatever. Uh, huh. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Um, I've only got the one. So, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Biggie. Thank you all. Getting out of my chair. Got a smoke? Yes, I do. There you go, buddy. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. You still this on about that? Stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. Huh? Don't give me that smile. Don't that give me that look. Me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Word. 
that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> everyone hates me? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Damn it. You're right. You Who'd you my get ways. in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Um. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. What impress? I. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Word. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. It was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life huh? is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. There's Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. give me a drink, please. Colin, <laughs> enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Don't give me that sad, piggy look, looking face. If I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Here. Take the damn drink. It's all yours, buddy. Thanks, Big B. No problem, call. You said, like, feed it to him, you know, or, you know, yeah, like a baby or something like that. I wouldn't really know what that term would be, like nursing. I don't freaking know. Giving a baby a bottle is typically feeding it, but whatever. That's besides the point. Who's knocking on, who's knocking on my door? Like, they crazy. What do you want? Drink my tie real quick. Look all spiffy looking. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Said I come with you anywhere. What? Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Word. Or you again? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Seems like some serious shit is going down. I mean, you gotta talk outside. We can't talk in front of no people behind walls and shit. Got an achievement, Wolf and Sheriff's Clothing. Word. Grab the jacket. Mm 
No. Caroline. Knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fatal Town. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. I think she was a prostitute. I would assume. The woodsman. He attacked her. I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Or I just down. Terrible. Um. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. You should be silent. In case you're wondering, I found her like this. I can't tell you much else. It's a shock. I know. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Exactly. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. All right, Snow. You're right on it. Let's examine her neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? It was like an axe cut. What maybe. could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Gotta what be that woodsman. Would do this? The blame with him. What is? It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Neither do I. Poor girl. Was it you, Snow? <sighs> I'm I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what, what do you want to do next? Uh, nothing much else to do. Yeah, I investigated everything, so I can't really see anything else. So. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Mm, trust, trust me. I do trust you. But we're going to need more in terms of actual proof. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. I apologize. It's not what's oh. important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I want to apologize to you guys in case I'm a little bit not as talkative, uh, but I'm really invested into the story right now. And my gosh, it's taking a crazy turn right now.